And so it begins again. Let's boot up the old merchant hunt. Hypno space headband. I don't know what this music is, but all right. Having some issues loading in. There we go. Okay, so back with Hypnospace Outlaw. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see what happened last time. Quite a bit, actually, right? So, yeah, we were just doing normal cases as usual, same old standard stuff. Uh, then it came that there was this sort of New Year's virus that was developed by our good hacker friend, Timageddon, and it was basically supposed to be a message to uh, this girl he likes, whose name I forget, Dark Twilight, Dark Light Tiff, Twar Twilight Tiff, something like that. Anyway, he made this virus specific to her, and she was supposed to see it and enter a password in order to get this message. And obviously, being the aficionado and investigator that I am, I found out what his intentions were, found out the password to stop the virus, stopped it. But lo and behold, as soon as the virus ended, shit went crazy, and it was very strange. <laughs> Basically, it caused a system crash, and unfortunately, that was also the end of Hypnospace. Uh, so Hypnos crashed, and along with it, it killed, I believe, six people, which is not great. Uh, and apparently, the virus was the cause of this. Anyway, it's current time, so... What was it, 1999? Well, it was New Year's, so we're, you know, 20, I guess since it's August, getting close to 21 years after the fact. And uh, there's this archival project that started up. And basically, we're just looking for, uh, I don't know, shit. I half wondered if this was just a way to go back and check out pages you've missed or something like that, but I took a quick peek at a guide to see you know, if there's any more story bits, and apparently there is. Now, I didn't delve too deep into it just to, you know, avoid spoilers or anything like that. Uh, but I'm not too sure, you know, if it's just finding new crap or if there's actually story tidbits here that we can find and there's something else to be learned. Anyway, um... So we'll go ahead and, you know, sort of look into this a bit. I think if we end up not being able to find, uh, you know, anything to do or any story bits, I don't know. I might call this one short. Maybe I'll even just boot up Vice City because that's on the same platform. <laughs> but we'll, we'll give it a chance and see what happens. I think there's actually stuff to do, so there's probably no, uh, no fear of that. Anyway, let me read over this email again. Hello, everyone. First of all, I want to wish a warm welcome to our newest member, which is me. We couldn't be happier to have you. Smiley face. The Hypnospace Archival Project needs more outside attention if it's going to survive. To put it plainly, we need to attract donors. My own social reach can only go so far. The kids who read my books don't remember forums, let alone Hypnospace. I've been reading about how to reach people on a personal level and found that music is actually one of the strongest stimulators of both memory and emotion. To that end, our goal for the time being is to track down a few of the music-related things on our Lost and Found page. Remember that you can switch between multiple dates using the HAP tool. Let's harness that nostalgia. Good luck. So I haven't really looked into that, but I guess we'll see what we can do with this HAP tool. Um, HAP. Oh, 
lost and found, here's where we'll list things that we believe may exist only in hypnospace and would otherwise be lost of time. All I need to do is view the page that these things exist on and they'll be sent to us and archived. Please do your best to find them. As your headband picks up, uh, wait, as your headband back ups may be our last hope. LAF, Lost Chowderman Song. Adrian wanted to know if you'd dig up a song that Chowderman wrote about his helicopter accident. He remembers only a vague lyric about losing a leg. Adrian swears he sent him a text file with the lyrics and chords and would really love to have it again, as I believe it would soothe Adrian's soul. Okay, who? Sent who? Chowderman? He sent Chowderman an ax- uh, okay. LAF002, lost in early song demo recordings of now famous rapper. Kev J, a close friend of mine and famous rap star, remembers putting his music on Hypnospace when he was in his early 20s but never really getting any attention. All he remembers is that some guy deleted him from a listing saying that his music wasn't real music because it was flip-flop and that he should have... He should do something more imaginative instead. What the hell does flip-flop mean? I asked if he, uh, maybe he used any search tags, but he didn't even know what I meant. So this may be a hard find. Finding this would be a huge deal, Tamara. Uh, LAF003, Roddy's early test pet. I'm almost certain that Roddy made an odd-looking test pet early in November that looked like that comic book floating eye he was always talking about. Would love to play with it again. Huh. LAF04. Weird secret eye cult? I could be misremembering, but I think I remember all kinds of pages with strange Egyptian eye on- with a strange Egyptian eye on them. If my memory serves, I'm pretty sure even Adrian Merchant had that symbol somewhere. Can you find out what that's all about? That's awfully vague. Please pick. Okay, so... How do I access the hat from here? Oh, here it is. Alright, so this is something we installed. I guess this just... This is sort of like a time-traveling thing. In a sense. Or I guess if we get to a page, I could open this up and see previous versions of that page. Um, okay. So... I guess let's take a look at this first one, Lost and Found Chowderman song. Uh, Adrian wanted to know if you'd dig up a song. Let's see, he remembers only a vague lyric about losing a leg. Leg? <laughs> I need you, I need you somewhere else, floating head. Adrian swears he sent him a text file. Who the hell is Adrian? No, not, not Ladrian. Adrian. Did I hit something? I keep feeling like I'm hitting a different key. Shouter. Oh, wait, I forgot to, uh, hold up, I forgot to mute something. So I got, like, a bunch of shit windows open. Uh, okay. I think we're here. So, wait a second. Um, is this any different? I guess it isn't. Adrian Chowderman review, house sound bill. Okay, so we gotta step back further. Only thing is, I need to... hold up. This page, I need to save. I don't know. Death, because we're in the post-apocalypse of <laughs> the uh, Hypnos Hypnos. 
Thanks for the lyrics and chords. Is there any other clues? He doesn't have like... Alright. Well, let's jump back. I guess super far. Start with what I first tried. Leg? Leg doesn't work. Uh... I guess let's look up Chowder Man. Here's Punk. Chowder Man, the boys review on inspired rock riffs, unconvincing masculinity. changes. Let's see what this intro is all about. Crunchers here. Ready to rock forever. Yeah, that was a hell of an intro. Okay, um, hmm. Gotta pause that because I can't think. This is called All Muscle Boys and Freak Sheets out there. Chowder Man is back with his new kick ass band, Cruncher. Don't miss Cruncher's debut live performance at Cool Fest 99. Win a ride in Chowder Man's Chowder Copter. <laughs> Sign up for Chowder Man Hypnospace newsletter to enter. Three winners will receive an all-expense-paid trip to Cool Fest 99, where the rides will take place. Hmm. Cruncher is a chatter man on guitar and vocals. Kenny Masters, lead guitar. Terry Rabbit on bass and keyboards. And Cuff Johnson on drums. Is there really anything... Let's check out when the page changed. Chowder Man presents all great things come to an end. The release of Please Come Back Home marks the final chapter of Chowder Man's career and er, as a rock legend and celebrated songwriter. Okay, I'm gonna pause that for now. As a thank you to his loyal fans for years of support, he has decided to release Please Come Back Home for free. Downloading Chowderman underscore Please Come Back Home. Downloading Chowderman Home. Please come back home. I wonder if this is a song. All right, now we're back to the other thing. Stalling Chowder Man home wallpaper. Uh, what about the please come back home thing? Oh, there it is. Music file added to Toonbox library. Pause this without uh, having to restart it again.
I don't know. I don't think I'm going to listen to the whole thing to see if there's a lyric about a leg in there, but, uh, well, whatever. Let's see. Music Merchant Shop. Ask the Chatterman. That's where we are. Ask the Chatterman. Okay, cool. But are you actually going to take off in it after the set? Isn't there all kinds of stage equipment you can get in? Or get caught on? What is this? Oh, is this about the helicopter? Yo, Petey, what's your problem, man? Anyway, of course we have thought this through. There is a walkway in the middle of the crowd that goes to a big round landing pad. It's perfect. Also, I am an excellent pilot. Or he just says, I am A. Are you really bringing the chowder copter to Coolfest 99? I thought you had to give it up after you went bankrupt a few years ago. Pete L. Pete L keeps... Oh, oh, it was a follow-up question. Why does it start from the bottom up? Hey, Pete. Yes, I did get rid of it, but the chowder man needs his copter, so I got it back. And yes, you will be able to ride with me on it if you win the sweepstakes. <laughs> uh, is it really you running this page? This is awesome, high school kid. It's all chowder man, baby. Coming at you live in hypno space. Do you still have a drinking problem? <laughs> Been s sober? Been sober <laughs> for six months now, though I do cheat every once in a while. Hee hee hee. Are you just dumb, or do you think cool punks are actually fans? They're making fun of you, dude. Hmm, that's not what it says in my fan mail. Chatterman's music is for everyone. That's why I'm doing songs for big, huge companies. They know that the people want more chowder. Get off my page if you don't like it, looser. <laughs> are you really bringing- oh wait, no, we already read that. That's the PD one. Uh, the zone. I'm Chatterman. Chatterman and the boys looking for trouble. The Chatterman's Hotel 1999 remaster single. Um, we're a background art for Hypno S. <sighs> Why don't I have like infinite Hypno coin? Downloading Chowderman underscore I am the Chowderman. Downloading Chowderman underscore the Chowderman's hotel room. Downloading Chowder back. I wonder if Chowderman has a F-list page. Cuff, my man, my best friend. I've let you down for the last time. Please, for, give me. Fans and friends, I'm deeply sorry for this tragedy. I beg you to have mercy on. Trage tragedy. Beg you to have mercy on. I guess it's supposed to be me. <laughs> what the hell happened? fifty-four, the birth of Chowderman. Chowderman's mama buys him a guitar. Chowderman's first band, Bad Crow Crowd. Uh, Chowderman's parents help him start Chowder Entertainment, his own personal record label. That seems like a pretty big thing to do. Uh, if we wanna, Chowderman's classic debut album is released. The single Jack and Round reaches spot eight on the Swiss music charts. <laughs> Chowderman has commissioned to write the legendary Gray's Peak anthem. Um, Chowderman famously purchases his custom chowder copter. His single Chowderman's Hotel Room reaches number two on the USA rock charts. Ah, that's a little better. Chowderman's record Looking for Trouble goes gold in Switzerland. Chowderman's Mountain Roar, 1989, and The Zone, 1991 albums are recorded and released. Fans love them. Chowderman takes some much needed time off to focus on his health and family. Chatterman resumes writing music. He produces jingles, some of the largest brands in the world. Chatterman is hired by Adrian Merchant to help produce quality music for Hypnospace partner brands. In late 1999, he finally returns to rock and roll with his new band, Cruncher. So, what happened where he's like all just had to shut everything down? Was this post crash? I figured everything was like before the crash. This is, well, this should be November 26, 1999. So this is before the crash. I don't know. What was that guy's name?
Cuff Johnson. Well, actually, I guess I probably just could have searched Cuff. No results for Cuff. Hmm. All right. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, let's see. I wonder if Chowder Man. Let's see. If he had an F list page. Triple O eighty eight D. Oh wait, no, that's an S. He did. Uh, oh hey, look at that. Directory file list, Chowderman private files. For the Chowderman eyes only, do not look. If you do not belong here, then do the right thing and go. Downloading one legged man. One, one legged man. <laughs> Important message received from half underscore arty. Okay, good. I was wondering if we had to like send it anywhere or anything, but it looks like just having it or finding it is good enough. They're recording all my activity. It's very strange. One, one legged man, as the AI said it, by the Chowder Man chords. C F C. All right. Well, notes. It's waits time. You crash and you burn. Your time has run out. The Chowder Man must ask himself, "Who am I now?" Where will you run with only one leg? You can barely hop, and now you must beg. Come back, oh, come back, oh, don't let it end. Forgive me and hold me, signed a one-legged friend. I think it uh, should have been there. Maybe I can be like the mighty men of old, the pirates with one leg. They got so much gold. So, some good lyrics there. For capture and some of the wow, so the rumors are true. Eric and I did have compatible auras, but I can't deny his talent and sheer lyrical brilliance. I'm sure One Legged Man would have been a hit. <laughs> what? Eh, it's bad on par with his rest of his crap, so I guess why not? Music file added to Toolbox Library. I'm the child of me. Yeah. All this music that we haven't put in the player yet. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm Jim. And we... hey there, I'm Ben. I'm Jim. And I welcome to Soup Island. Today, <laughs> super tasters, we're no longer eating vinegar. Hey, I'm That's ben. good. I'm Jim, and we're over. Quizzers are really cool. Who is this? It's an interesting way to like work their one composer. I'm, I'm assuming this Chowder Man, if he isn't Chowder Man IRL, that's hip speak for in real life, uh, then he, I don't know, It's he's obviously just the one guy that composed the music for this game, but it's like an interesting way to, you know, come up with an excuse for the reason why he's in every single piece of music. Uh, all right, so we got that one taken care of. Let's take a look at the archival project. That one is done, found. Lost early song demo recordings of now famous rapper Kev J, close friend of mine and famous. In the, there's something here that sounded weird. <laughs> Saying his music wasn't real music because it was flip flop. I guess it's a take on hip hop. I don't know what that means though. Flip hyphen flop. Now look at that. Kevin J. Oh god. <laughs> we don't need more of that. Um, should go put a little music or something in there. 
Anyway, Kevin J. From half underscore Demira. Oh, just finding this was good enough? No way. I found Kev J's old songs. Uh, let's see. Important message received from MS underscore Samantha. Yeah. Well, you gave me another one? Alright, anyway, hold on. For capture November 5th, 1999, at risk of sounding like I'm fame obsessed, I have to say that this find is going to be enormous for us at the HAP. Kev J is the hottest flip flopper today, and his fans are patrons and patrons are gonna eat this up. These recordings are so adorable too, especially the buffet one. Aww. Aww. I made a song about a buffet. Uh, okay, I'm a Samantha. My name is Samantha, but you know me as Chelsea. Here, wait a few seconds, I'll show you. Well, I, I think I know you as Samantha, right? She was the moderation coordinator. See, switching back over to the Samantha account, I have something very important to tell you. Please wait for me. In the meantime, do more archiving or something. I have a lot to say. January 1st, 2000. No, no, no. Shut up, shut up. Zero, zero, shut up. Okay, well, I guess. Important message received from MS underscore Samantha. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was overworked or an overworked employee at Merchant Soft. You can still see my picture on the team page. When we scrambled to put together the Hypno S Year 2000 update, Dylan Merchant worked on whatever he pleased. First, some weird big game project. The S experienced that a couple times. Also, I uh, caught him hanging out around in some hacker group. A few hours before he went live with the update, a giant software package was uploaded from somewhere else in the building while everyone was gearing up for the Merchant Soft New Year's party. I believe this was a software patch added to the year 2000 update by Dylan. Interesting last... Message received from MS underscore Samantha. Stop it. I'm reading this. Interesting last minute changes that ultimately caused the Y2K mine crash? Uh, hmm. I believe Dylan Merchant is responsible for the resulting deaths. I believe Dylan knowingly allowed Tim, a fellow team member, you know him as Tim again, to be framed for this disaster and spend six years of his young life in prison. I need your help to prove it. Detail incoming. That's interesting. Okay, so we still got story, I guess. Download Sam Hammer. Hammer. I don't know what it is, but all right. I need you to find and access files that prove Merchant South knew the year 2000 update wasn't ready, or Hypnospace knew that their technology could have harmful effects on its users. And do you remember Dylan having an anxiety attack over the security breach right before Y2K, so maybe look underground? Attached to this email is an installer that would add a submit to SAM button for your HSPD enforcement toolbar. Using the SAM hammer, we'll send whatever you select directly to me without alerting the rest of the HAP team. If you find this information, do you have any idea what will happen? We can see justice done, all without telling a single other soul. So are you ready, partner? Let's do this. I don't like those ellipses. Uh, yeah, sure. Do I still got to do the archival thing? I was sort of looking forward to delving back into some of that crap. Anyway, uh, Sam Hammer. Here it is. Send to Sam. Oh, she looks so creepy there. It's all pixelated. Copyright Kevin J. Anyway, this is unrelated to what we were just reading about, but Important let's see. Message received from half underscore Artie. Never mind then. What the hell is this? An auspicious addition. Can I overstate how proud I am to introduce my good friend and former full-time employer? Tableau roll, please. Dylan Merchant is joining our team. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. I'm sure you'll find him as a valuable source of information and intriguing conversation as I have over the past two decades, Artie. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we're just kind of trying to prove that he was possibly responsible for killing six people and crashing an entire company. But, uh. Message received from Dylan. Oh my god, jeez. Haha, <laughs> thanks for the warm welcome, Artie. If any of you come across something that seems like it came from inside Merchant South documents, images, work in progress fragments, please contact me before going to the rest of the group. I can verify stuff, provide context. I'm an open book with a lot of offer here. 
or a lot to offer, smiley face, excited to join this passionate team and make sure the full legacy of Hypnospace is preserved properly. Sent from my D-phone. Alright. That is disconcerting. But you know what, whatever. That's what the Sam Hammer's for, right? Okay, so... I don't really know what to... You know what sounded suspicious, though? Again? This asshole's gonna stop sending me stuff. Just checking how things are supposed to work for people like that internally and going forward. Well, did we see all this before? Hello, Tamira. I'm excited that we have another new member, like everyone else, but I realize Artie did this somewhat independently. Can we just bring folks into the core team anytime we want going forward? You don't have to worry about my authority being leapfrogged. Artie cleared it with me before bringing Dylan on board. Actually, my speaking to Dylan about Sev joining and our new potential to access the merchant soft intranet seemed to play a major part in his coming aboard. <laughs> I'll bet. That said, if there's any issue at all with anything, say a new recruit, please let me know. Direct messages, smoke signals, anyone is free to talk to me through whatever they're comfortable with at any time. It's my job to ensure everyone here is safe and comfortable, not just funded. Just checking how things are supposed to work for people like that internally and going forward. Just checking how things are oh. supposed to work for people like that internally and going forward. Wanted to see if he'd read smiley face. Okay, can we stop with the emails? So I can do something here? No, okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, archival project. Let's go back to 20XX, the year of Mega Man. Okay, so I'm certain that Ronnie made an odd looking test pen in early November that looked like a comic book floating eye. Always talked about. We'd love to play with that again. I do kind of want to look up the rest of this stuff. There's only two left, and they've been sort of easy to find so far, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do that. Ringleader Roddy. This is one of the guys that died in the crash. Let me take a look at his triple zero twenty one D. Can I keep clicking S? There it is. Do we have these? Downloading accelerator. Downloading test bit. No wait, I think I do have those. Downloading Taurus underscore whip underscore two. Downloading Taurus underscore whip underscore two B. Important message received from half underscore Arty. Downloading three Y three three. Yeah, that's the third one I have. Three Y three three. Okay, I guess I don't need that. Uh, let's see. Taurus work in progress. What is this? <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, it's, it's colored it in. <laughs> good, good for him. Nice attention to detail on the nipples there. Okay, let's see. This... That's one of those things. It's only accelerator. 
Will this still have pop-up ads? If I use it? I don't remember- I don't remember if we tried it before. Also, it's still as loud as ever. What was the other thing we saw there? 33 hex targets accelerated. Okay, no, that was it. Everything. Everything except for the test pet. Enjoy your adopted test pet. Oh my god. It's already starting to shit. But I need you because I need to open that file. <laughs> All seeing. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be I. You've been blessed with second sight. You know what? There was a page, I think it was on Timageddon's, where it said something about needing a special sight. I wonder if that'll help. Hap already, um... Jump on Fliss, that's what I found. For Capture November 5th, 1999. It's at the bottom of the list there. I could embrace you. This brings back fond memories. Sometimes I'd pet it for long stretches of time, counting each heart that materialized around it. I think I'll do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I don't find it very relaxing. Oh yeah, we still have the dead one in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it anything. What the? Why'd you eat that? All right, well, good thing. Oh, there it goes. It's like immediately goes after it. No. Just trying to, like, sort things, organize shit. Okay. Okay, so that last one there, let's see. Weird secret eye cult. I wonder if that has anything to do with the thing that just installed. Could be my nice remembering, but I think I remember all kinds of pages with strange Egyptian eye on them. If memory serves, I'm pretty sure even Adrian Merchant had that symbol somewhere. Okay. A nope. Adrian. Jump back in time. God damn it. Guess we're turning that off. I'm gonna go back, like, a ways. Merchant Sam, Partners, Products. Roddy Wall, Samantha, Little Merchant, Adrian Merchant. CEO Merchant Soft, welcome to the Hypnospace page. If you'd like to contact me, please look me up in the white pages or swing by our office. Thank you. Alright, well, I'm not seeing anything with that. Uh, let's see. Quad 4, 4D. Nope, does not have an F list page. I guess I'm not surprised. He's not with it, he's not hip. <laughs> 
So wait a second, hold on. I hate that I gotta like jump back to the future for this crap. Could be misremembering, but I think I remember all kinds of pages with strange Egyptian eye on them. If memory serves, I'm pretty sure even Adrian Merchant had that symbol somewhere. Can you find out what that's all about? Adrian Merchant had that symbol somewhere. Okay. Just for fun. <laughs> I wonder if it's that. I don't, I don't need that to happen every time I click on one of these things. Uh, let's see, new settler partners just for fun. Stamp, stamp this page because things we're cooking up will blow your mind. No. Think about these pets. They're the only way to open those stupid files, but then once you're done opening files, they just shit everywhere. Human Space Guides, Merchantsoft, TV Spot Survey, Merchantsoft just for fun, Virtual Pet Guide. Saudi software, he's good Dylan Merchant. No him, no less games? You know what, there used to be... I need that directory. Is it open eye? I need like... I need where this is rooted from. Castle Dreams, Dream Station, Cafe, FLS, the Zone Hub, that's what I need. Open eyed. work in progress. Did this guy ever update anything? He has a brief beef brain shield. And then that just like all left. Go to page two. How do I get to page two? Is that a link? Okay, it is. Welcome to SD Crits Uncovered, page two. Keep going if you're ready to see these secrets. To go to the secret, choose wisely. Mmm, sexy. <laughs> Just none of these go to anything. He's even saying money and riches. Click if this is what you care about. Shooting and killing. Killing robbers is okay. <laughs> I choose love. Family and friends are my most important things. Lying. Death and doom. Mmm, sexy. Twenty-one fifty. Twenty-one. A. Anyway, we are looking for some kind of eye. Truth about Trennis. Celestial Reflection. Tall Greens. If 
increased sound effects, Sherry heals. Secrets uncovered. Professor Helper, Rip No S. Gus's Temple of Serenity. Met's Ket? Net? Is it Net? Net or Met or Ket? I think it's a Net Settler or Support. Bring back Net Settler Support. Hypno Cure Pro is a scam. It always helped me out. What is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like those fingers. You know what? We never. Ugh. We never, uh, we never found all the squishers. Oh, hey. I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. I wonder if it's like on here. I don't really see anything different. Wish this thing wasn't like built around a face. Or the, the face wasn't built around this thing. <laughs> Alright, so what is it saying about this? We read some of this before, but it's like didn't really look into it. Snake's eyes very clearly drawn to look like the Egyptian third eye, or the eye of Horus. This eye supposedly grants us viewers sight that transcends good and evil, meaning that this snake is teaching our kids that good and evil do not exist. I wonder if that means anything. Oh look, here's a search tag for Horus. That's exactly what I was gonna... Well, I was gonna search eye of, of Horus, but... Children of Horus home. Look at that. Children of hiding occult references in utmost secrecy. <laughs> uh, any of your password. Any of your password. Children of hiding occult references in utmost secrecy. Who who's in charge of this? I mean, there's nothing else to search. Uh, I could search children. <laughs> I don't think that'll give me the results I want. Linda's horror page. Squisher deception. Unwitting servants of Satan. At worst, they're carrying card members of the occult. That's about what I think of it. This thing looks like it's about to die, too. Thank God. Uh, cult. Alright. Nothing. Are we sure Adrian didn't have a thing? Merchant Softs. Merchant Softs account, but I need to... It's not the same, is it? No, it is. I wonder if Dylan had anything. Boobs D.
These are all just songs. Hmm, alright. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm not seeing anything. That that page is suspicious, though. I probably should save that. I'll file it under the eye. Uh, hold on. Let me check something. Speaking of eyes. Tim. All right, we need to go back to um, the Teen Topia thing. God damn it, you're not dead yet. Actually, shit all over the place. There it is. I saved it and everything. See if this actually does anything. Oh wait, wait, wait! I saw something. Out of the way, please. Enter the fleshy domain. Click to enter. Butthole testing, testing. This is cool. Oh no, I can't see what I'm typing. Minx, the only good community in hypnospace if you know how to read it. You know what? I think there was another page that had that. All right, this is on Tim again's page. Tim again is proud to present your 2000 mind crash. Can she save us? No. Yeah, this is right at the end here. Tiff, aka Marshmallow, we work on horror stories together, like this one, True Tranquility. Tim again Thanksgiving password feast. Thanksgiving underscore M3AST. What is that? Son of Tim here. My father spent two weeks collecting these passwords for your ungrateful imbeciles. You ungrateful imbeciles, be thankful. P.S. My dad's also preparing a little Christmas surprise. Smiley face. Minx, underground hacker board. Dear Minx, let me post and I won't leak your passwords again. Formatting note. Username? Question mark password. They will change these quickly. Try them all. Dumpy dash one. Uh -huh. All right, well, that might be handy. Uh, I'll leave that. Wish I could resize these windows. Let's put that there for right now. Also, poor monster thing is dead. Make sure we could just toss, the, toss those, right? Application icons can only be removed to their official uninstaller. If available, you will be able to download the uninstaller hypnospace. No. Then I guess into the chest it goes, where I never have to look at it again. A group who should let old Tim hang out with them before more of their passwords get leaked. Crack programs, hacks, art, viruses, and assorted mis mischief. Okay. 
True Tranquility, I haven't heard from her in a few days. If you know Tiff, let me know sh if she's okay. Yeah, <laughs> you killed her. Or I guess maybe, maybe Dylan did it, who knows. <clears throat> Minx. Go away, if you can't figure out how to access the login link below, you definitely don't belong here. Let's take a look. Wow, wow, well, Minx looks all messed up. I can't read it. Don't worry about it. You'll never afford the software anyway. What the hell does that mean? Enter Minx here. Enter your password. Oh, uh, you know what? Hold up. Let's go to the early version. Because apparently Tim hacked this and said something like... They'll definitely change this. Wish that would stop popping up. Okay. So we need to format this. Username and a question mark password, which I guess it's already done for me. Uh, dumpy dash one question mark. What the hell is this? H S I S trash nine three four four four. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, what is this? Stop it. The U.S. Education Council thing accepted Counselor Ronnie BWL BWL BWL. What? Well, he was, even I, though I can't read it, he was able to read it. November 5th, 1999 slash dot y. Backslash two crappy replies. Fuff, 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 Okay, okay, stop saying fuck. I wonder if this is just related to the login that I put in. Or if this is just how it looks in all cases. Alright, dude, you need to, you need to, you need to cool it. Stop it. Reconing underscore ink. Okay. As long as we have this understanding here that you need to stop. Almost forgot. Let's jump back to an earlier one. Let's not do the earliest one. Let's maybe do the one in the middle. Okay, so... I wonder if this is Dylan Merchant. Uh... <laughs> 69... Noise... Pusher? 69. 
That's the same shit. Well, what are you saying? What is this? It's like you can see a page. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what it's seeing. I don't know what that board it border is, the edge. Um, this I don't get. This is like, I don't know what the scrambled text crap is. It said something... Minx looks all messed up. I can't read it. Don't worry about it. You'll never afford the software anyway. Like, what could that be? Who's in charge of this crap? <laughs> I have questions here. Hmm. Okay. Hold up a sec. Let's see. Password feast. Slush mouth. Pitch two ch chef rib no s. You know what? I wonder if I can access that now. I guess probably not since I'm running the same software, but or you know the same hardware. But let's take a look at chit chat, chip and chat and frip no s. condition god damn it all right <sighs> okay so what are my options here Is there anything else back at Tim Geddon's page? I feel like we took a look at all of it. And did he have an F list? I don't even remember. Uh, I'm just gonna go. King Topia. I don't know why I know we have that. Why can't I look at anybody's, like, information? See that? I figure it probably did. Mine crash. What is that? All right. 
it's basically just the letter that he wrote that was connected to the virus. Uh, hmm, okay. I wonder if his dad ever released that Christmas surprise. Or was that the virus? I don't know. Falcon 123. I wonder if... Hmm. Dink Dinkerson. Uh, let's see here. This gave me an idea. It worked! <laughs> Honor rule two, rule two, please. Uh, yeah, no, just because Adrian Merchant was supposedly connected. But I wondered if his password was the same for everything else. I guess it was. CH 1999 Winner's Banquet and Ritual Cleansing will be held at King Foods Amphitheater. Oh yeah, I guess this was an archive thing. Yeah, those guys were weird. Was this some kind of dumb competition between rich guys? Disappointing, really. I thought it might open up some sort of conspiracy, Chelsea. Yeah, me too. Oh well, I guess. Anyway, let's take a look. I guess it doesn't look like there's any differences on the onset here. Um, so you're standing in, in ending in December 31st. A Larson got seven. <laughs> Hidden. None found. C. Jacob got two hidden, none found. F. Kazuma got five hidden, four found. Adrian Merchant got one hidden, one found. A. Dispenza got two hidden, one, two found. 1999 disqualified members. E. Hellman rule two violation. M. Trunk rule two violation. Please honor rule two and refrain from acknowledging COH by name. Thank you. Hmm, I wonder who did that. Uh, boy, that's a shame. Headband ID unidentified to the cafe undefined. Children of Horus. Well, this counts for the archive at the very least, right? Yeah, all right. So we got it all done then. Well, that's good. Um, hmm. Nothing, huh? Okay, well, that just leaves, I guess, the meat of this to go. And I am not too sure what to do. Registered headband, eh? 
triple oh ninety six D. Take a look at Artie's info. No results, huh? Interesting. Man, I feel like there's something to do with Minx here, but I just don't... I don't get the thing. Let's take a look if there's any, like, software downloads or something. Since so something about not being able to afford it. Software, Merchant Soft, Retro Pet Guide, Jazz Software, Audio Software, Good Time Scam Watch, April the Angelic Hamster. <laughs> I guess there's a lot. Uh, Enforcer Conduct, Flagging. Oh, this is all handbook crap. Professor Helper for HypnoS. Let's see. Skip watch about jazz. Audio software, software reviews, hypnocure. What was the full thing of this do? Safe mode browsing tool. Remove viruses from quarantine. Virus quarantine. Auto cure functionality. Yeah. For developers and experts only. Damn, I wish I could afford that. I wish we're in the future where we don't have to worry about HypnoCoin. They should just give me unlimited funds. I don't see why that's not a thing. It's not like I'm earning anymore. <laughs> But, okay. Whatever, I guess. Is this Merchant Soft? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm a little bit stumped. Sports, 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 sports. Did we ever look at sports? Hello, it's a beautiful day for Trennis at Bobbo's Arena. I'm Pete <laughs> Jones. And I'm Derek Nova. All right. Sounds like a Black Keys song. Okay, well that was weird. F list master directory list. Does this list everybody? No. Okay. Well, then it's not a master directory list, then, is it? That might be handy, though. Uh, okay. Maybe Open Eye has something. Cup Mysteries. Magic Orb. Net Settler. What is this? Bring back support for Net Settler pages or else. Not sure if you forgot, but without us Net Settlers, Hypnospace wouldn't even exist. Look at what you did to my page without with your newest update. Oh hey. Yes, yes. Uh what do we what do we do? What do we do? No, I will not be paying for your exorbitant HypnoCure Pro feed just to be able to load my own page properly. Oh, shit.
We need to get him up. Uh, what about Nat Settler? Nat Settler, soft. Just for fun. Before Hypno, Hypno S 1.04 update. So is there a date where that? Okay, this page didn't exist at this point in time. There has to be. Hold on, there has to be a download for this. God, that would be sweet. I like completely stumble across this, but it's like an amazing find. It's exhilarating. Uh, Visual Wizard Eagle, no, 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 hard to stop products. Let's take a look at that seller. Your virtual home said, 1996 that settler took the online world by storm. The internet was suddenly in a place for everyday people, no longer an exclusive playground for techies and whiz kids, but a virtual home for, uh, with jobs and families. But no, 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 what about? We're on the earliest page, right? The earliest time period, yes. I wonder, okay, hold on. I wonder if we could look at the Minx page then, like this. Early. But it still talks about the stupid thing being messed up. But this should be before that because it's before the update hits. <sighs> this is kind of stupid. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, slush mouth, question mark, 46646642192. God. Really? Four six six four six six four two one nine. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's get that back up, I guess. Close that. Stop. Okay, I guess let's do one that I know works. Boobs, 69, uh, noise, pusher, 69. There we go, it's all messed up still. Ah, oh, what a pain. Okay, um, the big, big bowl, yes. Hypno cure. Unbelievable. Is there a time period where there was ever a sale? <laughs> we don't got steam sales going on here? Uh, all right. Let's see. No, 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 no. We need... What do we need? All right. Let me take a look at that settler again. Uh, we're in the middle time period, so net settler support. We might be support for new net seller pages or else all my text is completely unreadable now thanks jerks update no I will not be paying your yeah, exorbitant I back your pro fee just to be able to load my own page properly clicking a safe mode button every time a page load is not an enjoyable way to browse hypnospace is that the only way to do it how do I get money if I'm not working for Hypnospace anymore? I wonder... Hmm... 
I wonder if I can go back. Like, do the, the tools should sort of work though, right? Or no? Do they only work in... Okay, hold up. Hold, hold up here. Hold up a minute. Let's see. Uh... Or was it A? Maybe it was A. Oh no, it was a five, wasn't it? Ah oh, shit, this crap doesn't work. Damn it, damn it. Oh boy, I don't know. I just, I, whoops, don't have a strict clue as to what to do in this instance. Look at the emails again. I need you to find and access files that prove. <laughs> okay. Soft knew the year 2000 update wasn't ready. Hypnospace knew that their technology could have harmful effects on its users. I do remember Dylan having an anxiety attack over a security breach right before Y2K, so maybe look underground. What do you mean like underground though? Attached to this email is an installer that will add a submit to SAM button to your HSPD enforcement toolbar. Using the SAM hammer will send whatever you select directly to me without alerting the rest of the half team. Attached to this email is an installer that will add a submit to SAM button to your HSPD enforcement toolbar. Using the SAM hammer will send whatever. We can see justice done all without telling a single other soul. Oh, I'm like, what? That was it. If you find this information, do you have any idea what will happen? Okay, well... That still doesn't really tell me anything. No, no. What day is this? Oh man, yeah, it's completely different. I guess that was due to the update. Got a bunch of coin, but I don't know where to spend it. We got you covered. Uh, it's a bunch of crap. A bunch of crap I don't need. Also, yes, this did change due to the 2000 update. Hypnocure is the number one and only antivirus for HypnoS. Don't go exploring without it. Protect yourself from destructive viruses and hackers now. Stop using HypnoSpace. Look inside. This is not a joke. If you do not stop using HypnoSpace, you will die. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that did happen. I know I'm known for minx, but this is not a hoax. This is not a scam. Page text removed due to violation of no space law. I didn't remove that. And then buried in Adrian Merchant's deleted mail folder is this. Mirror downloads of the full reports. Page removed. Who is this? I think I tried to look him up before. The revelator has arrived. Damn.
Uh, hmm. Well, this is interesting. I don't know how to get the links back. Saw an eyeball in there. I guess nothing's really changing. What is Reckoning Inc? Okay, I guess it doesn't go anywhere. What is Revelation? Oh, look, Reckoning Inc. Um, it's Settler, no Loyalist, Savant, Hacker, Resistance Leader, Projects. You got a... Yeah, it's still that one. They don't have an F list either. Well, they are the hacker type. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What we got here? It just dream tools, now in Freeland. Leaky piping? In second sight, the I.X, which I guess we're using. I don't know what leaky piping is. HS Dream Tools. Do we have that? That sounds familiar. I guess not. Well, hold up. What the hell is leaky piping? Let's take a look at these. I'm just gonna need this out permanently, huh? Shit, we need, uh, we need, like, the safe mode. Leaky piping, 001. The mystery of the deleted zones. Dylan's bad car game. Nam. The Nam? Alright, what is this? Mystery of the Leaded Zone. In this edition of Leaky Piping, Merchant Soft deletes five thriving hypnospace communities because they're geeks and losers. Jump to file downloads. Downloading Leaky Piping I01, Leaky Piping I02, Leaky Piping I03. Downloading Leaky Piping I-01, 1, one. Leaky Piping I-02, 1, Leaky Piping I-03, 1, Downloading LP-1. Okay. Fascinating. What's the rest of this crap? Can we do something about these the geeks? You've been putting it off. Adrian, the geeks make up a third of our citizens and half of the zones in the Hypnospace City menu. We can't just delete their pages. What do you want me to do? They're still everywhere. When new people come, they think they think it's a geek club. Hypnospace is different because it's for mom and dad and grandma and kids, not for computer geeks. We have five zones for geek losers and not even one zone for sports? It's ridiculous, Dylan. Okay, but tell me something today. Hello? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm back. One intern, Ralph, or some R kid, said a coincidence or 
two condensed geek zones into one big sci-fi cybercog comics gaming zone, but make it seem like an exciting event. Probably not a good idea because of inevitable backlash. Can you move all their files to the clunkers so we can put the stadium on speedy one so it run fast for big Y2K event? Chit chat with Roddy Well. Hey Dylan, did you have anything to do with the Starport Castle dream build thing? Oh no, Roddy, I am so sorry. We had a team of interns trying to solve a problem for us and they chose to put a few zones together on their own server and I totally forgot your pages were there. I should have watched them. It's okay, but would have been nice to know ahead of time. Uh, is it just my connection or is my page loading slower? Probably just hasn't been propagated fully yet or something. No big deal. The lies. All right. This edition of Leaky Piping, Dylan Merchant's Bad Car Game. Hey all, I'm working on knocking out bugs now. Just wanted to let you know that I'm testing Outlaw with a few enforcers tonight. I'd really like to get it up by the Y2K update. Okay, if you think you have time. Not being rude here, but I don't think we have time. We really need to address the bugs and only the bugs. Hmm. Come on, Dylan. You know we can't finish that thing in time. It's cool, but it's not time yet. Samantha, mind your manners. Dylan is a whiz kid. I can finish it. It would be nice if more than one person at this damn company actually understood how huge this could be. I'll finish it myself if I have to. Do your boring daily grind drone work and I'll do this myself because I'm apparently the only person with creative vision here. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry for exploding. It's just that this, this, it's just that this has to happen. Outlaw will be released uh, for the New Year's Day update. It's the only way to cyber worlds that won't crush us. Yes, it is ambitious, but I'm really just trying to keep us all having a job here. Cyber worlds has good graphics and games. It's true, Samantha. We need to get on the balls. Downloading leaky piping 201, leaky piping 202, leaky piping 203. Guess we don't need to send this because uh, she was part of that conversation anyway, so. This sounds bad. I wonder what that could be. This edition of Leaky Piping, a brief exchange between Adrian Merchant and Artie. Nam. Artie, I need help. Namaste. Nam to you too. I feel torn apart. Gray's Peak Cola Company is such a big client, but I think they're getting cold feet. I need guidance to bring them back. Cool Punk is a big mess. Ah, peace and be still, dear Adrian, for I already know that this pain has been plaguing you. It filled your eyes as you spoke at the investor meeting this very morning. You're not centered, Adrian. You're... Adrian, are you still with me? Is your quiet corner ready? Yes, I'm at the quiet corner in my mind, and I'm in my comfy draft chair. Or get off chair, too. Very good. Now chant slowly as we practice. Om gum ganapataye nama. Om gum gumpli nam. Om gumli gump nam. I don't think he has to type it out, but <laughs> whatever he feels like doing. You know, Adrian, we should do this outside. All right. Downloading leaky piping 3 01. Leaky piping 3 02. Downloading LP3. Doesn't hurt to have any of these. Despite the fact that they're stupid in some cases like that. This sounds bad. Hey, Santa's here. My incredible helper, Reckoning, sent me these. New Year's Eve promises to be very interesting for Merchantsoft. This sounds bad. We should probably stop using Hypnospace now. Private chit chat with Adrian Merchant. I'm not a medical expert, but if I'm reading it right, they're basically telling us that people aren't getting decent sleep while using Hypnospace. Lazy bums. Who stay up late watching TV don't get good sleep, so what's your damn point? In Hypnospace, they can talk to people and learn, which helps brains a lot. Not my point. The doc said that. Look, don't worry about it. If people are tired after sleep time, just get on fewer nights per week. People are responsible for their own choices. Too much ice cream will kill you, but no one does studies on that. Yeah, hypnospace is like ice cream. It's good. <laughs> it's fine. Also, it's our study. 
it was privately commissioned by us, so it can just stay private. The new PR guy suggested it as a way to deal with beef brain rumors. We'll find some other way, not a big deal. Good. Um, the report said that beef brain is fake, right? That would be bad for PR if it was real and people's brains did that, yuck. Not good for evening news. I'm reading the abs cart? Lots of big words in there. Guessing you're still trying to get Outlaw out in, 2000, in the 2000 update? I don't mind this HSPD stuff, but it wasn't the job I was hired to do, you know. As a matter of fact, we're uploading a press preview demo now. As long as the team puts in the hours... When was this? December 23rd? It'll be there by 2000 for sure. Surprised, smiley face? Yes, but more skeptical than surprised, Dylan. I'm begging you, please, pause the game right now and get more people on stability. I just ran the update last week and it gave me the worst headache of my life, literally. This can seriously hurt people. Downloading Leaky Piping 4-01, Leaky Piping 4-02, Leaky Piping 4-03, Downloading LP4. That seems important. And the last one she already saw, so no reason to look into that. Anyway, uh, is that it for leaky piping? Let's move this out of the way. Dylan's bad car game. Okay, I'm guessing the earlier ones just have less stories. Good. Dear God. Oh God. Dear God, Seth. You just found the jackpot. These conversations are painful to relive. Thank the stars we never followed through on banning Tim. If you can find anything else, especially concrete medical evidence, send it to me. There has to be something floating around out there. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting this information together for the authorities. You got it. Only problem is they see me looking at this crap. It's not like you're the only one. So somebody's going to stop me. Somebody stop me. But don't actually, because I feel like I'm onto something. Okay. Um, alright, so we looked at the leaky piping thing. What was last? HS toolkit now in freelance. Important message received from Dylan. Uh oh. Haha, <laughs> reliving your enforcement days? Hey there, Sav, I noticed you were racking up violations on some user. You do know there are other ways to get hypnocoin, right? Anyway, just thought it was amusing. It's funny that our violation reporting system works without our servers online, but hey, just goes to show how good I am at coding. Also, name sounds so familiar. Did we used to chit chat? <laughs> no. You stopped me from banning you because I tried to report your music page and, you know, you're being a real dick about it. But, you know, it's, it's all in the past. Uh, alright, this HS Toolkit thing I'm sort of curious about, but, I mean, the whole enforcement thing, alright, well, it's in the Freelands anyway, so whatever, uh, but, hold up. It'll still work. Maybe he was talking about the Sam thing. I do need other ways to get Hypnocoin. Hmm. Okay, well... 
Let's try to look for this toolkit thing, I guess. I need to look up the stupid freelance shit. But, uh, freelance 5e? Is this it? I don't need that. What version are we on? Okay. Need to bring this out. Look at that. Oh wait, is that it? Hypno's Dream Tools by Reckoning. Downloading Hypno S underscore Dream Tools. What is this? These are tools built on Merchant Soft's internal debug tools, some function identically to their original designs. Some I've had a little fun with. Donate to the Hacks Gods, Debug Downloads, Clear Explorer History, Debug Hypey. Chapter 1 Loomings. Call me Ishmael. <laughs> Some years ago, never mind how long. For I, don't, I don't need a reading of. Um, Moby Dick. Couldn't think of the name for it for a second. Uh, debug Installer, sure. I'm not liable for any unintended consequences of using these tools. Do not message me if you encounter issues. Do not contact merchants off about these tools for any reason. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you've downloaded hacker apps in the past. You know the drill. Created by Reckoning. Recursive installer. Is this... It's gonna end? Oh, hey. Set poo interval. Zero. Receive your fallen companion. Or revive. Set speed. Nice. Desktop icons. Minimalist wallpapers. Sticker hacks. What about, like, money? Also, what is this thing? Why does it keep installing? Your installation for Crescent Installer was cancelled. Good. <laughs> Clear Explorer history. Uh, no, I don't think we want that. Debug downloads. Downloading debug. If you can see this file, your downloads appear to be functioning normally. If your file manager shows this file, it is functional. If your Hypnotext viewer can open this file, it is working. If your, receive, if your recycle bin is not full and accepts this file, it is fine. If your launcher is not full and accepts this file, it is a good boy. <laughs> You've got hypno mail. Debug email. Okay. Pitch music, override music speed, download page music currently playing track. Oh, hey. Something, something, liability, blah, blah, copyright infringement, BWL. Music tracks, HSM only. Okay. Yeah, we could download the page musics now, I guess. That's kind of cool. Uh, this I don't really care about. But, I don't know, maybe we get the... Let's get the, let's get the love squid back. Poo interval can be 
Zero, thanks. Infinite happiness and health. Yay. Um, well, those tools are cool. I was kind of hoping that there'd be something for, like, money. Downloading silence. Oh, good, we have silence. Downloading chowderman underscore ready to shave. Nice. <laughs> I was kind of wondering about that. Sticker hacks, debugs. Positive values on there. What happens if we do the non positive value? <gasps> do not steal from hack gods, you'll be punished. <laughs> Oops. Something, something seemed funky about that positive value. All right, well, now we're back in business. Hey, I thought I told you to stop shitting. No. You stay there. Excuse me? Maybe zero means, like, all the time. <laughs> and 100 is sort of, like, rarely a rare occasion. Also, what a conspiracy, like, the police getting to fund make way for private corporate police. It's insane, but less law on their way. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's... It's like that, I guess. Anyway, we need to find Hypno Cure. No, Zombicom is still so up. I probably looked it up like a year ago. I suppose it could have been like an archive page or something like that, but. Um, let's see, I need Hypno Cure. No, oh, yeah, Neopets. Never got into that. Fictions alert are active. Virus quarantine. No, oh, that's just like everything I had. Uh, so that safe mode activated. Nice. Okay. All right. So we're in business now. We need to go back to Minx. Um, Minx. And then again, I got to do all the stupid shit. the boobs. Five. I can remember it's a five, not a question mark. 69, noise pusher 69. Safe mode activated. Oh, we did it. Cool. Here's Education Council thing accepted Councilor Ronnie BWL BWL BWL. He read that earlier. 
I thought there was something weird going on with that, but then he couldn't read anything else. Safe mode activated. Hey guys, I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's a suit. He's going to shut us down and spy on us. That's not why I'm here. I used to run communities like these back before Net Settler started. So I know the drill. I'll just be here enjoying all the sweet stuff you guys do. To be honest, I love the dumpster, which is why I reached out. All right. Safe mode activated. Merchant soft drops and sellers page support. Safe mode activated. The end threads that go a week without new replies are flushed. Please give us a break on New Year's Eve. Safe mode activated. Give us a break on New Year's Eve. There's so much we're trying to do to make this place better for everyone. I get Reckoning's points and agree with them. We're making changes and are doing what's best for our users. Please, please, please just let us do this and then have your fun. Beef Brain was funny, but it has rippled into insanity internally, and we really don't need something like it on Y2K. Thanks, all. I highly doubt you get my points, let alone you agree with them. Should be more worried about ruining your poorly written software on those cheap headbands than anything we're going to do. Also, why are you posting this on Christmas Eve? Safe mode activated. Uh, where's Dylan? Safe mode activated. He wasn't my favorite person in the world, but why was he flushed? He can make life very hard for me, so I'd really rather we just let him around. Or hang around. Things are happening. He can't be here. No space isn't going to survive the millennium. I found something big and I'm digitizing it right now. Safe mode activated. Safe mode activated. A Law in the Year 2000 update? Since Dylan is here, I was wondering are you guys are really putting out Law in the Year 2000 update? In the build from a week ago, the network code wasn't even working. Are you outsourcing or something? Um, also, let, also me and the other creative team interns want to know when we're being paid. December checks weren't handed out. Could Birchensoft be any more of a disaster? Wow. Yes, it will be. There was a bottleneck with our programmers right before that build came out because we had to let someone go, but it was will definitely be in the update. I'm pulling 120 hour or weeks over here to make sure it does. I'd never outsource outlaw. It's too important. It's going to blow you away. <laughs> it sure did that. Safe mode activated. Safe mode activated. Don't use Cyborgs either. I won't post it here since chances are too high that Dylan can find a way to see this. But if you have second sight, search this tag, Revelation. Do I have to do the arrow? Putting a backup copy on my island. Same one as the Dream Tools in Gil's dumb area. No one goes there anymore because merchants have deleted half of their stuff by accident. BWL. Won't be using my headband again. You know where to find me outside of here. P.S. Dylan is out of minx uh, again as of right now some of these screens are very incriminating and i can't risk him knowing what we know okay so well, we could search that revelation thing i don't know if the arrow is important uh what is it three revelation Okay, well, hold up. This is safe mode activated. This is the same crap we saw. Okay, he has a backup copy on the island thing, so we need to 
We need to go there. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they really messed this up. Shut up. The free lands are closed. Whoops. I didn't even know that this happened. Yeah, they like deleted everything. It's still this, right? Virus detected. For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure Me Now. Hold up, I'm not worried about that right now. Oh, right. Safe mode activated. Merchant soft, get clinical. Oh, shit, I'll just fucking close that. Act one, merchant soft commissions hypnospace headband clinical study to silence beef brain rumors. Act two, merchant soft isn't happy with the finding and berries them instead of commissioning paid tests by independent experts. Act 3 Reckoning releases copies of damning documents bringing an end to Hypnospace and Merchant Soft. Good riddance. Click here to download unreleased Hypnospace clinical study abstracts and sleep study sample. Share far and wide. External mirror now downloader. S0225 PSG Hypnospace 1. S0225 PSG Hypnospace 2. Hypnospace Clinical Abstract. Downloading S0225 PSG Hypnospace 1. 1. S0225 PSG Hypnospace 2. 1. Hypnospace Clinical Abstract. 1. Important message received from MS underscore Samantha. You are beautiful, just a drop dead gorgeous hunk of investigating prowess. Did you know that these reports have horrifying implications? It seems that people in sleep time weren't really sleeping much at all. Surprised more people weren't hurt. Together with those chit chat logs you found, we have enough to put away Dylan Merchant for a long time. Stay tuned, who knows? You might hear your name on the news up here soon. Smiley face. Hopefully this isn't like Dylan in disguise. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, okay, well, did we do it? Is it done? The day is saved! Uh, <laughs> I don't know... What else we're doing. Important message received from Dylan. Oh, I'll bet. Um... Switch to the HAP intranet capture before viewing. Pretty soon you'll figure out, like I did, that HAP Chelsea is actually MS Samantha, a former employee of Merchantsoft. Working with Sev, she's attempting to compile evidence that proves that Merchantsoft is guilty of several crimes, one of which is knowledge of the inherent dangers associated with sleep time computing. Whether she found and submitted these files or not, the truth of this allegation is simple. I am responsible for the Y2K mine crash. Attached, you'll find a link to a confession. What the? Oh, jeez. Are you watching now, Deller? I don't know if you're here. Maybe something like two games. Okay, well, I appreciate it if you're here. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, bud. Uh, I will message you after a bit. Let's just see if we can get this done and try to get through here. 
Uh, responsible for the Y2K mind crash, attached you'll find a link in the confession of sorts. Sorry if this letter sounds a bit formal, I've been waiting to write one like it for a while, dreading it actually. However, I'm not scared anymore. I know several incredible people that I previously did not. I finally experienced hypnospace and its beauty, its citizens brought into the world for myself. I am so, so sorry. To you, Tim, more than any, almost anyone. Well, you know, those other people that died, though, probably owe them an apology too. Um, send this to whoever you need or want to. I'll be waiting. Sent for my D phone. Sav, Samantha, and the rest of the Hypnospace Archival team. I finished my game. Uh oh. Move along the Hypnospace Highway until you spot an outlaw, then apprehend him by positioning your vehicle behind them using your lasso space long enough to apprehend them. You may fly, shift for a limited time, but be careful not to land on other vehicles. Uh. This isn't going to kill me, is it? Gooper. Was that the outlaw? I don't I don't get it. We have an unknown outlaw wanted. This game is really something. Zane Rocks has ascended. He's one of those that died. Oh yeah, now these are all people that died. Sort of weird and morbid. Leader Roddy. Burn rubber. I guess that leads one more. That's anti government page. Sure, I saw another car. Maybe I have to keep going. Scroll past it again. Alright, you got me. 
Track me down, take me in, I won't put up a fight. Seven files. Oh, the squid died. Oh, there's your credits. Hypnospace Outlaw, lead designer, artist, composer, Jay Tholen, programmer, designer, juice putter inner, Mike Lash, narrative designer, writer, occasional rapper, <laughs> Zalavier, or Zalavier Nelson Jr. Additional programming by That Which Is Media, Corey. Cotron. Let's see, oh, this is a big team. I thought it was just like a handful of people. I was going to read all of them. Well, pause is needed. I guess there's all this other crap too. I'm gonna space outlaw Kickstarter backers. Kind of weird that this is a Kickstarter game. I hadn't even heard of it until it actually released, and there was people talking about it. Oh, well, there you are. If you back this game, which seems to be quite a lot of people. Redirecting the homepage. Oh, okay, we did it. Uh, we got like a bunch of files. Zane Rocks, 14. Could have become someone your mother was proud of. I'm sorry, Zane. Oh, this is gonna be sad. Scary chopping spree. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Rodney, your family came after us hard after the crash. They disgusted me. They smelled like body odor. <laughs> Their clothes were stained, stretched out, and dirty. They wore flip-flops. They came all the way to San Francisco to our offices, and we sent them away. I want you to know that if they're still around, I'm going to make it right. I'm sorry. I'm going to Roddy. Is that... No, it's the government anti-government page. Roddy, you might... Not by this, but I considered you my best friend after the end there. My work consumed me and became me. People who weren't helping me build my masterpiece were invisible. Through all of it, you were always willing to come back and put up with my garbage, and God, I wish you hadn't. I'm sorry. Bacteria, no, it's not it. One legged man, nope. None of this. Dark Twilight Tiff. Tiffany, I took your future away from you. Your little world's delighted others. Mine destroyed them. I'm sorry. Citizen 005, whatever. Mavis, I'm sorry. Not much to say on that one. Burn rubber. I hope you're with your wife now, Carl. I'm sorry. Is that it? That's the passwords. That's not what I need. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That's all of them. Okay, well, sort of ends on a bittersweet note. Uh, fascinating game. I, I loved playing this. This is one of my favorite indie game experiences I've had in a long while. Um, 
I don't know. It's like a lot of indie games. It's sort of samey. <laughs> There's so many games that try to replicate, you know, other games, especially from the past. But this is the first time we've had something that replicates like sort of a lifestyle or a generation, something that was, you know, outside of the gaming realm. Uh, and that it was, you know, operating systems and internet in the late '90s, early 2000s, and I feel like it it, it did it well. Uh, like I said, you know, I was I, I wasn't fully, you know, on the internet, but like every day or anything. But I had internet access as early as I think like 1996 or 95 or something like that. So some experience with a lot of this stuff. I thought they did a real, real good job with it. Uh, I loved all I'm the bored. pages, all the writing. Well, I don't really care if you're bored or not. Go away. Go go in the chest. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was good. Everything was good about it. The puzzles. I mean, it's a puzzle game at its root, and I feel like it does a good job. The only other puzzle game I've ever played that you know I've thoroughly enjoyed sort of the format of it is like the Room series. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, a set standard type of puzzle game. This is something completely different where you have to do like a little bit of investigating and digging and, you know, searching around, looking up key terms, keeping an eye open for stuff. And I think it did it re like in a real clever way that makes you feel uh, like accomplished by the time that you end up finishing it which is a little bit hard to do. I mean, sometimes puzzles, you're just racking your brain, which is it's not like I wasn't, but it's like, you know, you just, you sort of do it and you're done with it. But this, I feel like there was a sort of, a sort of investigative process that was easy, that was coherent in a way, but still challenging. And I like that. Um, but yeah, had a blast with this game, really ended up liking it. I'm glad it was as long as it was. I was sort of not sure what it was going to be like. But it was, it was quite good. Uh, so, you know, high recommendations. And I'd say that about does it. I'm sure there's more to do. Like we could probably go explore the older pages, but as far as like the story and everything's concerned, it looks like it's done. And uh, that was a good way to end it, so. We are finished with Hypnospace Outlaw. Um, I don't know if you can do like a sequel to that necessarily, especially considering that uh, <laughs> the way that the events turned, the whole Merchant Soft went belly up and, you know, the whole health concern thing. But I'd like to see another game in a similar style vein. You know, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be the same format or uh, premise as having the dream space internet, though it is a cool idea. Uh, it'd be nice to do something like that. I think that's a relatively imaginative way to go about doing it. Like, you know, do the late nineties internet, but have a little twist with it where it's like internet that you could surf in your sleep, but something along those lines, or even if they did a straight up sequel, I would not mind in the slightest. Uh, I liked it enough where if they'd be able to write up something and come up with something that's as intriguing as this has been, it would be, it'd be a good thing. Definitely for sure. So, uh, that's about it. All I got to say, very good game. And we're going to sign off with that. I'll be back, uh, hopefully tomorrow. What is, what is today? Tuesday? Okay. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do some Vice City. Uh, like I said, I'll try to start a little earlier so I could fit in a little bit more time with it, but it should, uh, it should be hopefully like a three hour stream or so. I'm thinking about starting something else. I might just do Vice City for the next couple streams, just because I'm not 100% positive what I want to move on to next. Uh, Cause I'm not, it's not like I'm not healed in certain games necessarily, but there's, eh, there's nothing necessarily pulling me hard. Like these past few things have. So we'll see. I might start up something new in a few days, but for right now, I'll just look forward to Vice City. Anyway, thanks for watching. Great game. And we'll see you next time. So until then, take care. Have a good night.